Hey, good morning, it's Dr. James. I do hope and pray this message finds you and your loved ones peaceful, thriving, and well. And I'm gonna warn you with love, right up front, this message is not for the faint of heart. So if you haven't already done your movement this morning, you haven't done your meditation, you haven't done your prayer work, you haven't had an avocado, maybe some turmeric, your green juice, then go and do those things and then come back, push go, and then uh, let's talk. Let's talk about what's happening right now. Um, the research is unequivocal, it's clear, it is so sobering to realize that many of us are saying, I'm tired, I'm burnt out, I've been scared and full of fear too long, and now I'm being asked to rally in these next few months to, oh, to show, <laughs> to, oh my goodness, to show what courageous love looks like. And it really needs to be shown right now. So I'm gonna ask you to reinvest in your self-care like you never have before. Because there's no way that you can get up in the morning and look at the news and then go out in the world and try to deal with what's happening out there. All the different energies, the left, the right, the conservative, the liberal, the stuff that's going on out there, the inequality that is just so pervasive, we've normalized it. And inequality is a giant umbrella. There's so many things that fit underneath that. You know, today I want to ask you if you've got this much more inside of you. In fact, I want you to raise your hand as high as you can. Now, I want you to raise one more inch. Interesting, isn't it? We thought we were raising as high as we could these last couple months, this last few years, whatever the time has been since this time has begun. And then we asked ourselves to go one more inch to find that space of grace, that one last inch where what resides in that last inch is what we're going to need over these next few months to galvanize a level of love, belief, faith, courage, willingness to stand. To stand with a level of light that is absolutely uncompromising in its conviction. You know, through discipline comes freedom. And we need to be disciplined right now. We need to put good, clean food in our bodies to have long-term fuel so we can go out all day long and not lose ourselves to low blood sugar, which results in anxiety, which results in anger, which results in losing our will. We have to pray and meditate every single morning. We gotta move our bodies so we have a level of neurochemistry that sees the possibility, that can actually close the gap on others, between us and others that we don't see as like us because they don't seem to be seeing what we see. We can actually be the way showers so they can see what we see. If we see with a level of love, a level of compassion, a level of inclusivity, a level of acceptance, a level of openness, a level of love that is absolutely unbridled in its conviction, then they, the they's that we have out there in our lives, and boy, do we easily see they, don't we? The thems. Well, you know what? We are them too. And because we're them and they are them, we are one, them, pointing fingers at each other. I'm a big believer that I trust right now in God, I trust right now in spirit, I trust right now in the light, because the light says those who stand in love, those who absolutely stand in the conviction of hope and faith and lead by that example become the example. And in that demonstration, we lead others to follow that demonstration of that example. And right now we need to galvanize a level of commitment to our self-care so we don't lose ourselves over these next few months. We need to be stronger than ever in our love. We need to be more joyous in the celebration of our love. We gotta stand in the truth and the conviction of inclusivity and be so wildly inclusive in all walks, all faiths, all orientations, all ways of being, including them, like we never have before. So they feel welcome to heal whatever it is that they need to heal in themselves so they can be part of themselves. And because when we become part of ourselves, we become love again. The essence of all humanity is love. And we're searching for it. We, them, us, we're all searching for it. So this is a beautiful time to recommit. The vow you took when you took your first breath in your life needs to be held again. Like your life depends on it. Because it does. And this is a beautiful time to remember that we are the ones we've been waiting for. 
So let's act like it. Let's be activism like that. Let's take action like that. I know we are one, and I'm so ready to see this beautiful demonstration become us, all of us. So thank you. Much love, every blessing. Have a beautiful day. Bye for now.